Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the key highlights from Prime Minister's address to the nation. Now, he started with talking about his sympathy for people who have suffered during the COVID pandemic. Then he mentioned that this is the biggest pandemic in 100 years and one of the key opportunities that it provided was to strengthen the health infrastructure of our country. Now, how people have suffered? So the biggest suffering is loss of near and dear ones. Uh, there are others who have suffered due to loss of livelihood opportunities. And then there is the idea of catastrophic expenditure. Catastrophic expenditure can also be explained as the expenditure that pushes a person from above poverty line to below poverty line. So say someone's, someone is sick with COVID or some of their relative is sick with COVID. And if they don't have enough liquid money in their hand, people sell their assets to ensure that the life of the person they care about is saved. And due to this, that person may move from above poverty line to below poverty line. So an expenditure that pushes people towards poverty is called catastrophic expenditure. Now talking about the biggest pandemic in 100 years. So obviously the reference was to Spanish flu of 1918. Now, it is one of the biggest deadliest pandemic the world has seen. Almost 50 crore people were infected or one third of world's population was infected. It is estimated that 5 crore people died. Now, this number cannot be determined with accuracy due to our uh, poor data collection 100 years ago. But this is the estimate that was there. In India, this pandemic roughly caused 1 crore death. It is also known as Bombay fever. Now, if you look at the decadal population growth chart of India, you'd say, see that there's a dip between the figures of 1911 to 1921, which can be attributed to Bombay fever or Spanish flu. Now, this pandemic came in four waves and it lasted almost two, three years. Now, it was, it became so intense because of World War One that was undergoing when this pandemic came. Now, lastly, talking about the strengthening of India's health infrastructure. So the focus has been to increase the number of ICU beds, ventilators, oxygen production supply has increased almost 10 times. N number of testing labs have increased. So this is how the pandemic has improved our health infrastructure. In fact, uh, a few days ago, it was also reported by the government that health expenditure has increased by 137%. Now, coming to some of the schemes he talked about in his address. Now, the first scheme which was mentioned was Mission Indra Dhanush. Now, it is a drive, immunization drive. It was launched because prior to the coming of Modi government, the immunization coverage was hovering around 60%. Now, as per him, in this address, it has crossed the mark of 90%. Uh, do read about it, although it's a very old scheme, almost seven years old, but various versions have come like Mission Indra Dhanush 1.0, then 2.0, and recently this year, 3.0 was launched with focus on those mother and children who missed vaccination due to the COVID pandemic. I'll provide a PIB link for this. Just go through it. Second is Pradhan Mantri Karib Kalyan Yojana. So the PM said that it was uh, for eight months last year, 80 crore people were given free ration under Pradhan Mantri Karib Kalyan Yojana. Now, during the second wave, this scheme was also applicable in the month of May and June and it is decided that it will continue till the Pawali this year that is almost till November. So this is a big relief. Apart from giving free ration this scheme includes a lot of things such as uh, insurance to frontline 
हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स एल पी जी सब्सिडीज एंड अदर थिंग्स सो आई अगेन प्रोवाइड अ पी आई वी लिंक फॉर वेरियस फीचर्स ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री गरीब कल्याण योजना यू कैन गो थ्रू इट द थर्ड थिंग इज द कोविन पोर्टल विथ इट्स मोटो बींग विनिंग ओवर कोविड नाइन्टीन और दिस पोर्टल एज पर हिम हैज बीन अप्रिशिएटेड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड एंड मेनी नेशंस वॉन्ट टू अडॉप्ट सिमिलर मॉडल it is developed by uh, meeti ministry of electronics and information technology now lastly he touched upon the vaccines so <clears throat> we already have two made in india vaccine for covid three more vaccines are under trial two vaccines are under trial for children as many experts have suggested that in the third wave children will be the most vulnerable so keeping that in mind two vaccines are already under trial for children even a nasal spray is being developed this will uh, increase our vaccination drive even further a pm also talked about some changes in the procurement policy so it was earlier uh, it was only the center which was providing vaccines to the state but this was changed states were allowed to procure 25% of the vaccines by themselves but due to various concern the state governments raised regarding this center has reverted back and now all the vaccine will be pro- procured by center and will be provided to state free of cost so this will start from 21st june which is also the yoga day it was mentioned by the prime minister so remember it second thing is free vaccine will be given to everyone who is over the age of 18 so again this will be done by the central government so vaccine procurement and its cost will be borne by the central government third is for private hospitals 25% of the vaccines will be given to them and those who want to take vaccines at these private centers they are allowed to do so a service charge has been capped like rupees 150 that is the excess amount that these private hospitals can take apart from the cost of vaccine and this will be regulated by the state now apart from this uh, pm also talked about that the state will be told in advance how much dosage of vaccine they are going to get so that they can plan the inoculation accordingly he also tried to Uh, counter those fears that are being spread by certain sections that these vaccines are unsafe or these vaccines like you know rumors that are causing doubt on the efficacy of these vaccines so he urged the youth of the nation to ensure that everyone is aware about the efficacy of these vaccines and how these vaccines do help to protect people against covid and lastly he mentioned that wearing mask and social distancing is still the way to beat covid so people should still follow the covid appropriate behavior so this was it from our pm's speech yesterday again the focus area should be those schemes that is mission indradhanush pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana covid portal and its motto may come and the changes in vaccine policy a number of vaccine trials undergoing in india so yes um thank you have a good day